All right, so for today's episode of Kaylin, <clears throat> mother, wife, daughter, teacher, amputee, my husband is going to put on my stump protector for me so I can take a nap. I don't know if you'll have a stump protector or a cast, but you want to make sure that your knee is in the opening. The bottom, they said, can be fairly loose. doesn't have to be super tight, but the top is where it has to be as tight as possible because that's what will keep it on your leg. If it's too loose, it'll just fall right off. And that's the helpful husband and caring husband. One tired thing, husband. tired husband. One thing, <coughs> recommend a bedside commode. Makes it a lot easier because you can have it wherever you go. And if you're <sighs> suddenly having the urge to go to the bathroom... You don't have to go too far. I also recommend a bed that is fairly high where you don't have to kind of squat to get onto it. And you can just kind of sit down on it. Um, while I'm in bed, I keep my um, stump protector on. And I've absconded with my husband's body pillow that I made for him before my surgery. <laughs> so nice of me to make it for him in time for my surgery. Uh -huh. Anyway, I put my leg on this and it elevates it just enough so that way I'm comfortable. I like to sleep on my side. So it's keeping it elevated and protected. So make sure you have something to help elevate during the day. I'm just kind of in a recliner with my foot up on a beanbag chair so it's elevated above the heart. And about every 45 minutes I do stretches. That's it for now.